वेलकम बैक एवरीवन इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट अनदर मेथड ऑफ पार्सिमनी ट्री बिल्डिंग ओके सो हियर वी विल लर्न हाउ टू बिल्ड एन अनरूटेड फाइलोजेनेटिक ट्री यूजिंग पार्सिमनी मेथड फ्रॉम अ गिवन डेटा मैट्रिक्स ओके वेर जीरो इंडिकेट्स प्लेजियोमॉर्फिक और एनसेस्ट्रल कैरेक्टर स्टेट ऑफ अ कैरेक्टर एंड वन इंडिकेट्स एपोमॉर्फिक और डिराइव कैरेक्टर स्टेट ऑफ एनी कैरेक्टर ओके here in this data matrix you can see there are four types of taxa a b c d and there are five characters 1 2 3 4 5 for each character there are two character states 0 and 1 0 is the ancestral character state and 1 is the derived character state in my previous video i have already told you uh, parsimony is a cladistic method where we try to construct a um, uh, maximum parsimonious tree based on shared derived character states or synapomorphic character state what is synapomorphic character state the synapomorphic character state is that where uh, two taxa share their derived character state see here the taxa b and c here sharing one and one so this character character 1 is synapomorphic for uh, taxa b and c similarly we can see taxa c and d is also sharing one for character 4 so uh, for character 4 c and d are synapomorphic okay so based on shared derived character state or synapomorphic character state we have to uh, construct a, a maximum parsimonious tree or phylogenetic tree in my previous video i have already told the word parsimony means cheapness okay whenever a new species forms from any uh, old species nature tries to keep the mutation number or the number of evolutionary changes as least as possible okay nature do not like uh, higher number of mutations so nature shows cheapness in in that sense okay so that is why this type of uh, tree construction is known as parsimonious tree here first of all we have to uh, draw all the possible unrooted trees and from that we have to select that tree only which have least or lowest number of mutations okay we, we that tree which shows cheapness in case of mutation number or evolutionary change number okay so for that first of all we have to determine the outgroup so uh, what is an outgroup outgroup is that taxa which is completely different from rest of the taxa and outgroup is that taxa which shares most of the ancestral character state so here you can see taxa a has all ancestral character state so clearly taxa a would be your outgroup okay but every time you will not get all zero in case of taxa a or any other taxa so in case of that you have to uh, construct a data matrix like this okay uh, based on the shared derived character states between uh, each of the between pairs of different taxa so as you can see taxa a has all zero so obviously it will not share any one with any rest of the uh, taxa okay so a shares no one or no derived character with b c or d but when we compare b and c taxa we can see they share derived character state or one for character number 1 okay so they have one shared derived characters when we compare b and d we can see they also have one shared derived characters character state uh, uh, not only one uh, one and two sorry uh, one shared derived character state for character one so obviously b and d will also have one shared de derived character state okay whereas while comparing c and d we can see they share uh, shared derived characters derived character state for character one and character 4 so they have two shared derived character state okay so whichever taxa has lowest number of shared derived character state that one is known as your outgroup so here you can see clearly a has no shared derived character state it is zero for uh, while comparing with rest of the taxa so obviously a would be your outgroup so uh, as the matrix reveals zero number of shared derived character states for taxa a hence taxa a is considered as our outgroup okay 
नाउ कमिंग टू कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ पॉसिबल नंबर ऑफ नेटवर्क्स और अनरूटेड ट्री ओके दे हैव आस्क्ड यू टू कंस्ट्रक्ट अनरूटेड ट्री सो देयर इज अ फार्मूला फॉर अनरूटेड ट्री कंस्ट्रक्शन एन यू इक्वल टू फैक्टोरियल 2n माइनस 5 डिवाइडेड बाय 2 टू द पावर n माइनस 3 इनटू फैक्टोरियल n माइनस 3 वेयर स्मॉल n इज द नंबर ऑफ टैक्सा एंड एन यू कैपिटल एन सफिक्स यू इज द नंबर ऑफ पॉसिबल अनरूटेड ट्री सो हियर स्मॉल n इक्वल टू 4 ए बी सी डी देयर आर फोर टैक्सा फोर डिफरेंट टैक्सा सो एन यू बिकम्स 3 सो देयर वुड बी ओनली थ्री पॉसिबल अनरूटेड ट्रीज फॉर फोर डिफरेंट टैक्सा Given above, okay. So what would be those three unrooted trees? See, these three would be your unrooted trees. In the first tree, uh, in all the tree, we have kept A as our out group. In the first tree, we have kept A and B together as a sister group. In the second one, A and C together, and in the third one, A and B together as an uh, as a sister group. Okay, and. Uh, on the other hand whenever a and b are sister group c and d becomes another sister group when a c are sister group b and d becomes another sister group when a and d are sister group b and c becomes another sister group so you can find three possible unrooted trees and now you have to find out which one of these three shows least number of or lowest number of mutations uh in case of this phylogenetic reconstruction and that tree would be your most parsimonious or maximum parsimonious tree okay so let's take a look into that so let me ha huh. see see here i have uh, again uh, written the matrix here for your easy uh, computation see here now the step is determination of total number of evolutionary changes in each possible tree so for tree 1 you can see first of all we have to find out our out group a how our out group a is different from all other tags that is from b c d okay so you can see our out group a is different from all other tags of b c d with the character 1 okay so character 1 differentiate a from b c d so we have uh, we have drawn a, a mutation line for character 1 on the branch of a okay now then you have to find out uh and for this tree also see here a is different from b c d by character 1 and similarly here also okay now for tree 1 you have to find out how these sister groups a and b are different from each other see here with which character set you can differ a and b see here only with character 5 only with character 5 we can differ a and b okay so obviously on the branch of b we can draw a line for character 5 a mutation line for character 5 okay so character 5 separates a and b these sister groups similarly in case of a and c sister group you can see when we compare a and c you can see for character 2 and for character 4 a and c are different from each other so for character 2 and 4 a and c are different from each other so we have drawn 2 and 4 on the c branch similarly on the other hand for a and d separation we can see a and d are dif uh, different from each other with respect to character 3 c character 3 and character 4 okay so character 3 and 4 separates a and d sister group okay so first of all you have to find out how your out group is different from all of the or rest of the uh, taxa then you have to found find out how your a or out group is different from its respective sister okay so how a is different from b or how a is different from c then how a is different from d then you have to find out how this sister group a and b is different from c and d okay so now you can see a and b are zero for character 2 but c and d are not uh, both of them are not one for character 2 but here in case of character 4 you can see a and b are zero and c and d are one one okay so for by character 4 you can separate a and b sister group from c and d sister group okay on the other hand if you try to separate a and c sister group from b and d in case of tree 2 you will find no character for that okay because see here 
A and C where uh, only in case of character three A and C are zero, but for that character B and D are not one. Okay. Similarly, so there is no uh, mutation line here in the middle. So next uh, to separate A and D sister group from B and C. See here, here is also no mutation line because see A and D are similar for character two. Okay, but Uh, and also for character five, but in case of character two or character five, B and C are not same. They are not sharing one. Okay, so we cannot separate A and D sister group from B and C. Okay, in case of three, two, and three, but in case of uh, three, one, we can separate these sister groups by uh, character four. Next, you have to separate these two members of text in this sister group. Okay, see. C is different from D with which character? C and D are different from each other with respect to character two. Okay, so we have drawn character two here. Okay, a mutation line for character two here. On the other hand, D is separate from C uh, on the basis of character three. Okay, D is separate from C on the basis of character three. D is derived. Okay, so that is why we have drawn the uh, character three uh, line on the D branch. Okay, for three two, let's separate B and D together. B and D. See here, B and D are similar for these two characters, but B is separate from D for, uh, with respect to three four and five, and B is derived in case of only five. Character five. So we are separating B from D with character five, whereas we are separating D from B with respect to character three and four. Okay. See here, D is derived for character three and four when compared to B. Okay. Got it. Similarly, if we have to uh, separate B and C in case of three three, we can see B and C. B and C are similar for character one, three, but different for character two, four, and five. And uh, from character two, four, and five, B have derived characteristics for character five. So we are separating B with character five, whereas C is separate from character uh, from B taxa with respect to character two and character four, as C is sharing here one. Okay, so C is separate from B uh, with respect to character two and four. Okay, so that is how we can separate uh, all of these taxa. With respect to the matrix, and now our next work is to find out the total number of changes in these three trees. See here, in tree one, you can find one, two, three, four, and five. Total five changes or five uh, evolutionary changes or mutations. But in case of tree two, there are six changes. Okay, and in case of three, in tree three, there is also six changes or six mutations. So among these three tree. Which one is showing least number or lowest number of mutations? Obviously, tree one. So tree one is our most parsimonious tree. Okay. So you can take a screenshot from here. Here I have written how to separate all the taxa. Okay, based on tree one to three. First of all, see for tree one we have separated A taxa A from B C D. Then taxa A with respect to B. Then sister group A B from sister group C D. Then taxa C with respect to D, and then taxa D with respect to C. Okay. Similarly, in case of these two two trees, also we have separated in the same manner. Okay. Please take a screenshot here and do do yourself. And last but not the least, we have. Counted the total number of evolutionary changes or total number of mutations. In case of tree one, it is five. In case of tree two, it is six. Okay, and in case of tree three, it is also six. So last step is determination of maximum parsimonious tree. So here, as tree one has the lowest number of total evolutionary changes or mutations, that is five. So it is considered as the most parsimonious tree. So among these three trees. our most parsimonious tree is tree 1 okay got it so i hope this video will be useful for your examination and you will get uh, useful insight from this okay and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more such interesting and useful videos related to biology thanks for watching and
happy learning